Hey, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's true name in the ancient Hebrew, and Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, the Savior of the nation of Israel, starting with the elect, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And peace and grace be upon the house of David, the Ba'af Dawuda, which is the elect, the men, women, and children that are chosen to be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of Israel. The double honest of the apostles of Great Millstone, who I learned this truth from. And peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the men that's pushing the gospel of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai in all sincerity and in all truth, and to the men, women, and children that's keeping the faith and staying in the Holy Spirit, the Rakah Kudash, to the best of their ability day in and day out. All right, uh, just want to get into a lesson on the topic of basically, um, are are he are are ye that uh troubleth Israel? All right, and um that comes from the scripture in uh first Kings 18 and 17. Um I just read it. It says, And it came to pass when Ahab saw Elijah, that Ahab said unto him, Art thou he that troubleth Israel? And he answered, I have not troubled Israel, but thou in thy father's house, and that ye have forsaken the cup, the commandments of Yahweh, and that thou hast followed Balaam. All right. And basically, man, <clears throat> you know, us being a uh, uh, a part of the, uh, the the hopeful elect, the servants of the Lord, the prophets that are uh, out there in the highways and byways, this is this is how um, the majority of Israel is supposed to see you. Okay, they're supposed to see you as somebody that's troubling them because we going out there, you know, and 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 putting this word, you know, uh, exalting this word, you know, shining this word upon the, uh, a mountain that you know it may it may spread forth, and the majority of people. The majority of Israel wants to live in darkness, all right? The majority of Israel wants to, you know, have their uh, sins, um, you know, uh, covered. Not co uh, covered in the sense of not, not being exposed, all right? So when we go out there on them highways and byways or when we push out these videos at a, at a, at a, at a you know, at a, at a high rate, it troubles, it troubles the people that don't want to repent, you know? And that's what you got to ask yourself. Are you somebody that is troubling Israel? All right, in a, in a righteous manner, you know, and for a righteous reason, because all the, you know, when you go we look into, you know, the life of the Messiah, Yahweh Shai, all right, his disciples, they were getting, you know, uh, uh, demonized and they were getting, you know, persecuted because people, Israel, they were upset at the, at what they were saying. All right. They were looking at them as being as, uh, as troublemakers, so to speak. You know, and now in these times, man, the Lord has raised up the prophets again. All right. You know, the men at the, the men that's pushing the correct and true doctrine of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, telling their people to repent, to turn back into the Lord. Israel doesn't want to hear that. All right. So we become like a nuisance. We become like so uh, like like troublemakers, so to speak, to Israel. And and here, you know, Ahab heard about Elijah. All right. Because what? Elijah was out there putting in that work. Elijah was out there uh, uh, making his body a living sacrifice. He was doing thus saith Yahweh. And that's how we're supposed to be. You know, and, and these the majority of these people are supposed to look at us like that. You know, they're not supposed to look at you. If you know this truth, you know, you have this knowledge and wisdom and understanding. And people don't know that you have this knowledge and wisdom and understanding. Are you just, you know... You know, you just that you 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 just you know you still cool. Nobody knows what you're really about. Then you're you're basically uh, denying Yahweh Shai, man. Because the Lord told us to do what? To go out there and feed His sheep. To go out there and to proclaim this word upon the mountaintops, man. All right. He said what? He um, what I tell you in secret, tell ye upon the roofs. Uh, tell tell ye upon the rooftops. All right. But if nobody really knows, if you're always a person that always trying to uh. uh you know, uh, agree, you know, with somebody that's wicked or, or, you know, you're not trying to really rebuke them or, or, uh, uh chastise them or correct them. You, you're, you're basically, you're basically, um, what's the word? You're basically denying Yahweh Shai, man. All right. You're basically denying Yahweh Shai. And the Lord said, what? He that denieth me, I'm going to deny before my father, but he that confesses me before, uh, men, I will confess him before my father, which is in heaven. So when we're confessing Yahweh Shai before these men, that's proclaiming this truth. That's uh, reproving uh, our people. Because our people are in a, a majority of our people are in a wicked state, all right? 
they're in the and you got you got some of the elect that are not woken up yet that are still in that wicked state so we are proclaiming yahweh shai that's for their benefit okay and it might and it's going to seem like it's troubling to the majority of people because our doctrine the doctrine of yahweh bashim yahweh shai is adverse to this world all right is that first is adverse to what these people want to hear all right they said what uh prophesied unto, unto us lies tell us smooth things when we tell them the correct things when we tell them the, the, the straight and, and and raw uncut truth that trouble if that troubles them all right when you go up to that word trouble it says to stare all right stir up you know uh, uh disturb this gospel <laughs> this word is a disturbance man especially you know, we out there um, yelling them highways and byways, you know, lifting our voice like a trumpet, you know, telling our people that are, you know, homosexuals to repent. That, that's wicked. The Lord going to destroy you. Telling our people to stop eating them abominable foods, which they love, or the Lord is going to destroy you. Telling our people to stop worshiping these false gods. Stop worshiping. Stop calling the name. These, uh, stop calling the Heavenly Father and His Son false names, or the Lord is going to destroy you. That's troubling to, to Israel, okay? Because they want to hear smooth things. They want to hear lies. All right, but you are supposed to be somebody that is troubling unto Israel. All right, because how uh, uh, um, how Elijah said, he said, "I have not troubled Israel," and because in reality, what we're trying to do is beneficial for Israel. You know, that's that's the reality, but they don't see that. Okay, they just see the the carnal. They just see us out there in highways and byways. They don't see the spiritual. Uh, the spiritualness, the the great benefit of us being out there in highways and byways, because ultimately this is for what we're doing is for the kingdom of heaven. All right, it's for Israel. All right, like how Paul said, my heart's desire is for all of Israel that they may be saved. But we know that all of Israel is not going to be saved. The majority of Israel are going to be destroyed. So what is that? That's troubling unto them. Okay, the message of the prophets are is to to Israel is a message that they don't want to hear, and that's why. A lot of the prophets, all right, a lot of the men of the Lord were, were killed mainly by Israelites, all right? What did how would I say? Oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, thou that killest the prophets. You know, but if you're not out there, if you're not making your body a living sacrifice, if you're not constantly proclaiming Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, if you're not doing, you know, uh, uh, making, making Yahweh Shai shine through your actions and, and, and how you speak and everything like that, then you're not troubling unto Israel. All right, this is um, get this uh, next scripture, Amos. Where is that? At? Yeah, Amos chapter five verse ten. It says, "They hate him that rebuketh in the gate, and they abhor him that speaketh uprightly." And that's who. That's what we're doing, man. We're rebuking in, in the chief place of concourse. All right, we're going out there telling our people, you know, making our our foreheads hard against their foreheads because why because they're stiff-necked and rebellious people they don't want to hear this man they don't want to hear the laws of of yahweh bashim yahweh shai they don't want to hear get right you know are you going to be destroyed are you going to be destroyed so they hate him that rebuketh uh, uh in the gate they hate him that speaketh uprightly and we and we are we know it's right man look we in these last days it ain't no time to be you know uh trying to spare feelings man the lord says spare not Spare not, lift up that voice like a trumpet and spare not. Show my people their trans their transgressions, man. We know what's wrong. We through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Baha Rakakwadash, the Holy Spirit has taught us all things, man. All right, put all things into remembrance. We know what's right and we know what's wrong, man. We know what's what's to come and we know what's not coming. We know that this place is not is not going to be a place of prosperity for us. This place is not going to be, you know, uh, 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 the land of, of milk and honey, the land of opportunity. We know the hell that's about to hit this place, man. We know the prophecies of World War III that's, that's going to come, man. So we are going to speak up rightly. We're not going to just say... You know, uh, well, it might happen or, you know, nobody really knows. No, man, we know, okay? And since we know, we got to speak it. Now, what we're speaking is not what these people want to hear. But, but so be it, man. So be it. Let them look at us as somebody that's troubling Israel. Because guess what? We're really, we're really uh, um, the kingdom of heaven, man. The Lord said what? The kingdom of heaven is within you. And the kingdom of heaven is the kingdom of Israel. So, in all actuality, we're troubling we're troubling the, the, the Israelites that are in the mindset of, of Babylon, man. 
All right, but the mindset of the Israelites, I mean, the mindset of Yashavala, the mindset of, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and his will, we're not troubling unto them, man. Okay? Uh, okay? Let me just make it through here. You know, we're not troubling unto them, but they don't want to hear that. You know, they don't want to hear those words, but so be it. Um, you know, because let me see if I can pull this up too. Uh, because even Yahweh Shai, he he went through it, man. They were they they were uh, upset at, at, at Yahweh Shai. Um, yeah, uh, Luke twenty three verse twenty uh, verse. Uh, I start at one. It says, "In a whole multitude of them arose." Who was that multitude? Them Israelites, man. Them Jews, the Southern Kingdom. You know, during this time, and led him unto Pilate, and they began to accuse him, saying, "We found this fellow perverting the nation." So they they're saying that he's perverting their. They're troubling. This guy is troubling unto our nation. You go into that word uh, perverting, corrupt, distort, you know, even though what he was saying was the truth. And that's the thing, man. The truth in the world of lies will be is looked at as being distorted, man. It's looked at as being a corrupt corruption. But we know it is the truth. And since we know it is the truth, we're supposed to be out there and, and pushing this word out. So don't let you know, your, your, your flesh get in the way of, uh, of you telling the truth, man. Don't let you, you know, being demonized or you being ostracized or being looked at funny or, or, or different by people. Don't let that stop you from telling the truth. If they're going to see you as troubling, then that's what it is, man. Okay? That's what it is. But, you know, be be somebody that's troubling troubling, uh, uh, troubling um, Israel for righteousness sake, man. So with that, when you've all praise, honor, and glory to you. How about you? Inshallah.